Where I live, there's this chain of hardware stores that I love shopping at because their prices are really low. You just gotta know what to expect. You know, I don't know what it is about shopping here. Maybe it's just the fact that there's no place around. I don't have any sort of fries or anything nearby. This place doesn't sell Arduinos, but it's got a lot of cool stuff. And yeah, maybe it's just the price. Nah, you know what, scratch that. It's definitely the price. I went in there to get myself a uh, charger for my battery powered drills that died on me that I also bought here. But because I had a coupon, I also got a four in one screwdriver for free. The four that it refers to, by the way, is Phillips, Flathead, and Phillips, and Flathead. You know, the thing is, when you're shopping for price, you gotta realize that occasionally you're gonna take something home, plug it in, and uh, it's not gonna work the first time. And what are you gonna do when that happens? Are you, going to, are you going to storm in and be upset? Are you gonna say, you guys are wasting my time? Or are you guys going to say, hey, I get to go back to the toy store again, and hey, maybe I'll get something else free. Yeah, that works. The point is, if you're going to be upset about these things and uh, not be happy that you get to go back, uh, then maybe you shouldn't go there. Maybe you should just avoid the experience. Now, mind you, the people at this store wanted me to point out that their quality has gone up recently, and, and that that's true, but still, occasionally, when you're buying for price, you just have to recognize that sometimes you're not going to get the experience that you wanted. You're going to you're going to have to go back to the store occasionally. And if that bothers you, then maybe you should just avoid the experience. I think this battery is dead. I get to go back to the toy store. So why do I mention all this? Well, Lately, I've been hearing people bad-mouthing GearBest a lot. They say that they're tired of seeing GearBest links everywhere and that GearBest is pitting YouTuber against YouTuber. And all sorts of mean, nasty, terrible things. And the thing is, I don't get it. Or rather, I get it, but I don't like it and I don't agree with it. Hey, click start guide right on top. That's nice. The thing is, before I was a GearBest affiliate, I was a GearBest customer, and I want to point that out, that I did not accept the GearBest affiliate offer. Uh, first of all, I didn't know that they were offering this to every YouTuber out there. Of course, I should have, because why else would they contact me? But I, I went back and looked over my history with them. And I had had a good history with GearBest. Yes, it wasn't the Amazon experience to be sure. Um, it took a long time to deliver it. And, you know, you just have to kind of expect that when you're, when you're shopping from overseas. And I did have some bad experiences with them. That is to say, I had some, some things that showed up and that weren't fixed and I had to contact their support. But they actually responded to me. They tried to fix it. They were responsive and, and that was super cool. Especially when you're trying to deal with somebody who doesn't speak your language natively, having them actually take your concerns seriously. That feels good, man. So when they came to me and they said, hey, you know, we'd like you to join our affiliate program. I looked at our history and I said, sure, you guys are good, good and I like you. I have had other offers from people that I've had to turn down because either they weren't the sort of thing that I was interested in or I hadn't had great experiences with them. That's, that's the point that I'm trying to make is I am still going to use GearBest affiliate links. I am still going to continue to support GearBest, but I would never throw you under the bus to do so. 
Now I will admit that sometimes I review things and I don't give the complete picture. I can't, I mean, I don't get to use these printers for the lifetime that it takes for, for the ups and downs and breakdowns, but I do try to capture the positive moments. Now I'll give you an example. The CR10 review that I made where I was glowing about my CR10, um, I, I found some problems after that that I didn't mention in the video. And I kind of feel bad about that. I kind of feel like I, I need to go back and revisit those. Unfortunately, there are other CR10 printers that I get to go back and revisit that. Ooh, a pen. And so I'm looking forward to getting to tell you guys about the problems that happened after I had used a CR10 for a little while longer. But what I do try to do when I make a video is I, I try to use a piece of equipment until I get that really positive experience. And then I try to share that positive experience with you. There are 3D printers that are just sitting here that I have not yet had that positive experience with that I don't know if I ever will. But should I take the time out of my schedule and, and tell you about this bad printer that I had a bad experience with and then have them fix it and have them repair the problem but still have a video sitting out there for years that says that you should stay away from this printer when now it's a good printer. See, that's a problem. YouTube videos, they're forever, man. And somebody is going to see that video years down the road and they're going to go, oh, I should stay away from this printer when in fact it's not a problem because it's been years since that video and that problem has been fixed. So what, do I, what am I supposed to do? Well, all I can do is what I've been doing and to keep doing it, I just will try and capture a positive experience and share that with you, but I don't want to deceive you. I want you to realize that it's not the whole story, that there's a lifetime ex of experiences to have with these 3D printers and that, you know, I can't give you that experience. I have another printer to review. I have something else to move on to. I have another project that I need to be working on. And if my printer doesn't work and if I can't get it fixed, I just put it aside and use another printer. And that's not the situation that you're probably going to be in. The thing is, I want to be as honest and upfront with you at all times. That's my thing. And so if you're having a bad experience with a printer that I've recommended, please let me know. But if you're having a good experience with a printer that you have out there, you should be equally vocal. We are so averse to uh, negative experiences that we don't enjoy the positive experiences when we have them as much as we can. And we should focus more time on that, in my opinion, as well as the negative experiences. So anyways, that's, that's kind of all I wanted to say about this. I just wanted to let you know my review process and the fact that I'm still supporting GearBest because GearBest has been very good to me but they were good to me as a customer before they were good to me as an affiliate. So if you see some gear best links in my videos in the future and you think, you know what? I do kind of want to go ahead and give gear best a shot. And you use the link in my videos to do that. I get a little kickback. You get cool stuff. It's a win-win situation all around. And I hope you have a good experience with that. And I hope you'll let people know when you do, but also if you have a bad experience, let people know about that. Let me know about that. I don't want you to be dishonest either. Anyways, that's all I have to say about that. I need to finish getting this printer together so that maybe I can review it in the future. I've got some other printers that I'm working on today as well. So I hope to see you in the next video. I want to thank you very much for watching. I want to thank my Patreon supporters who keep me in filament and now new materials as the new printers are coming in that uh, your support now means more than ever to me. I thank you very much for it. And as always, safety first. See you next time. Do you want to know more about 3D printing but don't know where to start? Or did you buy a 3D printer but you need some help getting it going? Don't panic. The beginner's guide to the 3D printing galaxy is here, now, for you. Buy it on Amazon.